Is this what you wanted? You wanted Holdacious to return back to Rust? Because if I come back, no one has a game left to play. They wake up dead. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me tell you the story of how I got to this point. The wipe started out just like any other before. I harvested as much juicy scrap as I could get and immediately went to bandit camp. While there I met a drunk Russian who misplaced his vodka bottle, but in return, I'd get a metal hatchet. I recycled some of the components I found on the way here. Went over to the weapon dealer and bought myself the fattest LR-300. Two of them actually, because I wanted more bullets. Up the hill I found Smirnoff's Smirnoff bottle. I turn that quest in, and I got a metal hatchet. I throw him a frozen turkey as a show of appreciation. With a drill I found and the brand new hatchet, I got to work. And the layout of my base is starting to look good. My syndrome may be down, but my hopes are up. Oh my god, no. I forgot that like three years ago, I set eye to my fucking suicide. I thought I was for inventory because I haven't played in so long. But no, it is for emo girl seeking attention and goes too far. Oh, I'm so dumb. I gotta remove that binding. That is horrible. After a really long walk, I made it back home, looted my limp corpse, and then... Oh, oh, I did it again! Went back to bandit camp to salvage even more scrap. No, he speak English, manito. He speak like Portuguese. Ah. Uh, Brazilian, everyone. I'm a dumb American, so I don't know what that is. I'm fat and I like guns. Back home, after some smelting, I wanted to see what I could craft. Uh, I just want to open up my damn inventory. I wanted to see what I could make. I, uh, I don't recall how to remove the keybind. I did somewhere in here. I don't know how to stop killing myself. I don't. I head out once again to get even more scrap. I can't be stopped. I got big plans and I'm not done yet. Oh, so much of my desk is in shambles. Oh, that's not your inventory button. I know there's plenty of seating, but I chose to sit next to you. It's kind of sus. Ooh, I win. Nice. Oh, I won a three. Congratulations. Hey, I like your helmet. Ah! Jesus Christ. Hey, you got you got any Bofa? I, I do. I'm broke. Fuck. Bofa, but he's nuts. After hitting rock bottom. I went out to farm even more scrap. I went back in there and set it all on 20 and 10. You know damn well what happens. I ain't gambling. I'm winning, son. What? 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 That's not even on the 20. Oh, was I rich.
I forgot about the auto turret. <laughs> The only thing I can do is wait here to see when they leave and hopefully they come my way. They have two auto turrets. There is nothing I can do against that. Oh, I know that guy. I gambled with him. Hold on. I'll run over there. Say hello to him. Deez, I'm back again, but I'm naked. I swear to God. I, don't you hit me with that. <laughs> Deez nuts, come on! If you hit me with another rocket, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Look at my pony. I found oh, it on man. the way over here. Bro, that's my buddy over there, man. You need to kill him for, man. Hey, is that my horse? I don't know. I found it at that big ass building over there, actually. Across the valley. That's my fucking horse. Hey, I brought you your ride. I'm name? keeping you. Piebald? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's definitely not piebald. Sounds a lot like piebald. I can I can recognize his little stomps. He's actually a girl. She's a lovely girl. You can you can ride her back, or I can ride her back. I don't know. I don't want to steal your holes. Hello, good sir. Damn it. You're going to regret that. I didn't see Piebald the horse, so I'm assuming his teammate ran back home with it. And if his buddy calls out to his teammate that he's getting attacked at that base, he's gonna drive on up. Like so. He was gonna drive up to save his teammate because he doesn't want his teammate cornered in a base that they just raided. Exactly how I just planned. Look at me. Oh, I'm a mastermind. Don't mess with me. I clearly couldn't take them both on. I would down one and the other would get me or an auto turret. So I divided and conquered. Yeah, I, I could have tried to get the other one, but he just jumped into his base and uh, I was down the hill killing his friend, so I have no idea where he could have ended up moving to. I only win 1v2s with surprise attacks. If I don't have that advantage, it's not looking good. And there they are, right over there. You can't see them, but that's their raid base. Hmm. I wanted to quickly show off my base before we go out silent raiding. I only have one loot room because I'm a solo player. It's all I need. This base has survived for three days now, and there's a trick to that. Big bases around me have been getting raided like crazy. They'll get built up and blown apart. It's because people that want to go raiding roam around looking for the fattest bases that they can hit, like that one. That one got shredded a couple days ago, and it's decaying. I built, purposely built this to look stupid. It's got just enough honeycomb to hide the fact that it's armored on the inside. Just random crap thrown together, really trying to look like a brand new player that just bought the game. I even threw up a ladder on purpose to make it look like people have messed with my base, built a really crappy balcony because, oh, this, this base must belong to a little shitty role player. And they'd be right, but I have a lot of loot, bitch. 
Now I'm going on silent rating, and I remember doing that three, four years ago, and I remember hearing that it got nerfed, that it's not as quiet anymore, and you shred through suppressors quite quickly. I really have no clue, but I always loved going silent rating, so I'm gonna try it. It can't be too, too bad. Now there's a reason why I'm using the LMG. Yes, I know I should be using semi-automatic rifles, but I got a fair amount of rifle body parts, and I like the LR300 that I can just buy from, buy with scrap. So I thought, why not try out the LMG that I've never got to use before. Now, this base here is just so random. It kind of looks like my base. They have an armored wall there, another armored wall, but sheet metal foundations. I can't tell if this guy's trying to pull off the same tactic as I am, where you look stupid, or if this guy's actually stupid. Well, I mean, there's this base right down here, right in front of my house. So I think why not, right? What the hell is going on here? Four hundred twenty nine scrap. That's gambling material. I don't know why, but when I see bases that size, I think of this. I think that they're hiding something, like they're little rats. That was just a warm-up practice. All right, come on, believe me, please, please, you know better. Now that is a juicy base, and I don't think it's been hit. Actually, you know what? I completely forgot about this base that's right next to me. He's got a backwards wall, which is slightly concerning, but... It's decently fat, and it's right next to mine. Remember, no Russian. Oh, so it's already been raided. <laughs> Some stuff. I should probably call it quits. However, I maybe it's just a couple more doors to the TC. I want to see some sulfur or scrap. Hmm. Holy, that's facing the wrong way. They definitely got raided. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Two stacks of explosive ammo right there. Scrap. Dude. Dude. Worth. Excuse me if I'm a little bit confused, but what the hell is going on? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I would say that's worth it. However, they left all these doors open. I were they raided? Because these doors are just left open. This is these guys, these idiots. I did blow down this door. This door was left open. Blew down this door, this door. This door didn't have a lock on it. I'm actually thinking it wasn't raided. And I think they're just brain dead. Because raiders wouldn't have left these garage doors open. No, these guys are just knuckle dragon monkeys. That's it. That's really all it is. Well, thank you for the explosive boys. Gonna go back, drop off, and go hit the other base. Before I start raiding this, I would like to get on the roof to see if I can uh, check if it's been raided already. No? Nope. How did that break so easily? How did that break so easily? Oh, there's a shotgun trap up there. I'm raining fire on myself. Uh, it would have triggered by now, right? <laughs> it's gone. I really wish I brought a melee weapon. Well, uh... So much for silent rating. Hello, motherfucker. God damn it. So, how much you want to bet there's a shotgun trap on the other side of this? No one's showed up yet and nobody's home. Maybe I can run uh, run back to base real quick. Throw down some Molotovs? That's something I've never used before, but if you can start a fire down there and burn up the shotgun trap, that'd be great. 
Wait a second. I forgot I got incendiary rockets. Oh, yep. Silent rating is out the window. We're doing this. I didn't hear anything break. I want to die to a shotgun trap. Oh. Shit. I'm dying to a shotgun trap. I don't know how else to break the damn door. Wait a second, I do. Explosive rounds have a radius of explosion. So, you fat fingered son of a gun. Break that damn door. Hello? Oh, shit. All right, this isn't just the scariest thing I've ever done. Okay. <laughs> Looking down the end of a barrel here. You know what? I'm gonna keep this big boy to protect me in case of uh, anyone jumps down, I guess. Ten sulfur. Wow, we're really... We're making moves here. I got a lot more doors to break. I gotta go back home and get some explosives. You scare me every time. Cut it out. Crafting myself a brand new LMG. The other one was getting worn out. Just like your mother! Yep, the shotgun trap. And I completely forgot we're not on the first floor. So, what the hell's down here? What's going on? This floor most likely doesn't have anything. There's a garage door, probably garage, garage, maybe loot and TC. This floor is junk. I already got this door halfway down though, but I, I am running out entirely. Instead of going through garage door, garage door, garage door, how about I go through this? I have one rocket. Another ladder. That's fantastic. Cool, cute. I'm down to my last 131 bullets. I can do it. I can do it. These are pretty low. I have 11 bullets. 11. That's 7 health. That's 51. I can do it. Woo. That looks like crap. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. There's nothing I can do, is there? Damn it! Would the incendiary rocket do any explosive damage on contact? Any? Zero. Nada. Oh! Oh, wow! Yeah, we, uh, we forgot that there was a shotgun trap right there. Okay. I got lucky that I live so close. This raid could have been a lot worse. Oh wow, I can craft three bullets. Okay, six. Six times four, what is that, 24? And that thing has 25 health left? Are you kidding me? There has to, uh, drills. Come on, melee tools, they have to do something, right? Break the damn thing. Nine, it's going down. I can do it, I can do it. Oh, almost five. Come on. Let's do this. Not again. No. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Oh, man, I did it. Nice try, idiot. Some gear. That is an ignorant amount of guns. Who needs that many guns? What do we got? Ah, uh, that's... <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. That's a lot of sulfur. I wouldn't necessarily say it was worth it as far as getting my explosives back. But damn, there's a lot of other stuff. Oh, shit. I'm like a monkey with a gun. I can't be trusted. I'm a, a retarded monkey with a gun, mind you. Yeah, I think the job's done. I actually was able to pull that off. <laughs> down to the last bullet. I'm a bit rusty, what can I say? It's been so many years since I played Rust. I played it a little bit a year ago, made like a couple videos, year and a half ago actually. But that was 
one wipe. So honestly, it's been like two and a half years since I played this game seriously. And it's been a lot of fun. I made it by with this crappy little homeless looking base. Seriously, I am loaded for a noob that barely knows how to function. Look at all this in my inventory. Oh my fuck! Hey, I'll be there for you.